when you walk through, ceiling tiles are missing, there's exposed wiring, there's exposed pipes, all of that's completely unacceptable. And it is not something that you would want your family to live in. We shouldn't ask our fellow Americans to live there either. I'm willing to go out and fight for these residents to get a voucher to move out tomorrow. Having them stay in here for 60 days is going to That's number one. Number two, there has to be a change in the legislation that when one of these buildings and one of these property owners fails to meet their obligation, that this needs to happen overnight. In my opinion, based on what I saw, this facility is not providing safe, sanitary, nor decent housing for these residents. I can't say that it's the worst place that I've ever seen, but it is among them. Uh, I went up a flight of stairs because I didn't want to wait on the elevator. No light, it was pitch black. We had to have a flashlight to be able to find our way up the stairs. And I asked how long. They said that the contractor had been working there for seven days, but it took two months for the corporate office to give them authority to go out and hire somebody to fix that. Two months, if there had been a fire, if there had been a malfunction of the elevators, you would have really had some people in danger of getting hurt. We would expect that uh, at the end of 60 days that HUD would exercise its appropriate regulatory authority and take the steps that are necessary and required and that they are obligated to take with respect to this contract and this project. 